We have Hotel Y'all doing that. Today we're talking about mods to a Pellet Grill, to any Pellet Grill actually. This one mod right here, will this make your Pellet Grill more accurate? Let's find out. All right, so before we try it out, everybody's probably asking, what, what the heck are you talking about? So this is called your RTD probe, and this is mounted right here and most pellet grills we'll take a look at the setup on a lot of different other pellet grills or grills itself and see where their probes are but uh i've always and i've mentioned this to a couple manufacturers already about why not take this off and give you the uh the homeowner the barbecue expert the the ability to move this around and put it on the same grilling level uh that uh that you're grilling at that way you know if it's a pid controller or or just if you're looking at the temps it's going to be more right, accurate. so you're saying how are you doing now you can saw the picture where you can use a piece of aluminum foil i see i think i see my buddy ken at heavy metal barbecue do that or you can use one of these clips and these clips i'll leave a link down below i just got these on amazon and uh they are stainless steel and they go through like that and then you would just put it in between your grate just like that and uh i i really think that this is the way to go let's um let's, let's there's one one more thing i want to talk about when it comes so to if this. you are doing this and this is the rtd pro that came with this uh king chi uh the cheapest pellet grill on amazon but you notice it's metal it's metal jacketed and that's what you want when you're inside the heat and uh you know and here's another example of one that's got a little shorter probe on it and it's metal jacketed and you can find these on amazon just just type them in but you want to stay away from the cloth ones because the cloth ones i don't think will hold up very well to the heat like the ones that are metal clad so there there's your only warning there if you plan on doing this i tell you what now let's go take a look at some of the other setups on some other grills charcoal and pellet all right let's take a look at some other grills and how they place their probes and here i'm not picking on z grills here but you've got three levels of cooking here and you've got your probe right there and it's probably closest to the top uh now wouldn't it be nice if that was more portable where say if you're cooking on the bottom rack you could put it right there so you're, it dials itself to where you're cooking in and that that's that's what i'm getting at let's take a look at a couple other grills now the rec tech bullseye RTD probe is pointing right up. It's that tip is right at grill grate level. So uh, they're doing it right here, and yeah, I would agree that those temps are pretty gosh darn on. They got a very good PID with the rack. char grill of gravity, folks. Right underneath there is where the probe is, and this is a PID controller in here too. Just because it's charcoal doesn't mean it can't be PID. Remember that stands for proportional integral derivative, and it's a, it's a program that is written specifically for each product that it goes into, so it can it can adjust. Uh, to what your thing is doing here, what your grill is doing. Another Z grills where it's up here. I've had other grills where they take and have this on the side and it sticks in like this, and that, that works pretty well. This one on uh, another Z grills, this is uh, the uh, ZPG 7052-2B, but uh, I do a lot of low and slow on this top rack, and they've got the uh, probe right there at the top rack, so good job by Z grills. Even on the uh, Auto Kamato, uh, the probe, and you can see it, it goes right through the lid right there. And when you put the lid down, it's right at grill grade height. And this thing is uh, pretty gosh darn on when it comes to temps. 25 there. And 225 right next to the probe. And about 235 away from the probe. So uh, I think it's working, folks. Uh, go a little longer, see what it does. All right, another 10 minutes. A little less than 225 there. There, so it's been holding pretty good like that. One thing I've noticed is that they advertise this thing as being a PID controller, folks. I don't think it's a PID controller, but we'll keep going. All right, so as we cool down here, uh, did it work? Yeah, it, it actually improved things on this grill, didn't make it perfect because I don't think that that thing is PID. So, we're going to start doing some modifications to the old King Chi here. You're going to see a new controller go on there, and I'm going to try a different burn pot in this thing, too. So, uh, Tom Horseman at YouTube, I oh, hope this is helpful. I'll keep on watching if you want to see. Take this uh, the, the least inexpensive pellet grill on, uh, on Amazon and turn it into an awesome smoking and cooking machine. Thanks for watching, folks.